Greetings, happy Halloween 2019. My name's Thomas and I'll be presenting to you the surrogates of 2020 presidential candidate Andrew Yang. Most voters will be focused on the candidates themselves. However, sometimes the surrogates are very compelling. For example, think of James Carvel in 1992 who is one of President Bill Clinton's hired surrogates. This guy was on fire, and he was a rapid rebuttal machine during the later parts of that election season. You can watch some of his appearances, even now still archived on YouTube. Last I heard, he was teaching politics in Louisiana. James is just one example. Nina Turner, who is part of Bernie Sanders' campaign, is another example of a powerful surrogate. The reason surrogates are important is because the candidates cannot be in all places at once. Also, sometimes other people on their behalf can eloquently explain things that they can't, or to be quite honest, say things they politically can't either. Why am I making a video on Andrew Yang's surrogates? Great question. Even though he has a few paid surrogates, I haven't, until this election season, seen so many, let's call them natural surrogates, who aren't paid nor necessarily approved by the campaign. Real grassroots activism. I've seen grassroots, however, not with so many consistent, dedicated, and talented surrogates who, in my humble opinion, could, in many cases, be professional, though I suppose that's what can be expected when a candidate or a movement, campaign, idea, issue, or even platform, per se, has a broad, appealing message. And when supporting such is recognized and embraced as an investment towards the future, these are people who've dedicated their time, who have many different talents, perspectives, and etc. They show the strength of this campaign. Some of them come from the right, the left, and some are funny, while others are, I'll just say, etc. because I could go on and on and on and on, as you'll see for yourself who these people are. Now, without further ado... Let's bring them in. And let me say, if I missed anyone, I am so sorry. Please let me know in the comments. And by the way, I will link to all these channels and people in the description. Although, I might not do it right when I post this video. But you can check them out here. Because there's a lot. So I'm going to start out with the first who I think are people that could actually be professionals. And I'm going to have some honorable mentions at the end here. And a lot more honorable mentions. Okay, so we have... Scott Santons, he actually has, uh, he's very popular on Twitter. He is the UBI ambassador for the 21st century. Check him out. Um, you know, he could be, you know, part of the team, but he's doing a lot of um, groundswell and grass works and, you know, and he's even beyond the campaign. He's for the universal basic income campaign in a nutshell. One of the most popular surrogates um, in the Yang campaign, unofficially, but grassroots-wise, is this channel, the Zach and Matt show. They have tons of uh, videos um, coming out every single day of uh, speeches, and you know sometimes they add their own little things here and there, and some very entertaining, creative, um, varied. Uh, matter subject matter and and such all about andrew yang so this is a great channel 21.8 thousand subscribers so i could you know th they could <laughs> possibly be you know um real you know professional surrogates but they're doing an excellent job and then you have this channel here problem solver politics um uh Cardin and Cody the Oracle. Um yeah, they have material coming out uh every single day pretty much and real good material, very talented duo. Um and uh I think the title describes itself Problem Solver Politics. I can see them going beyond even the 2020 campaign and um and as well as I could a lot of of these channels and that's one of the points here um this one grassroots yang gang uh they're following 
Andrew Yang with a uh, video camera and catching a lot of his um, live uh, speeches and town halls and question and answer meetings. And, um, and they've gotten some personal interviews on the road as well. Very, very uh, uh, excellent channel. They've um, even they've been interviewed by the traditional media a few times as well. So definitely check them out if you want to see what's the, the latest going on. And yeah, the videos, I mean, um, that they've been interviewed on and, and such, uh, you know, really um, eloquently uh, said on um, this other channel, Nerds for Yang. <clears throat> this guy's name is Tom, and he has interviewed Andrew Yang twice, I believe, and probably will again. Um, and, uh, you know, so excellent channel. He's had some good interviews. I really think this person's strengths is their interviewing. Um, uh, they, he just has great interviews, and that's what I'll say about it. Another person, Paget Kagi. Um, another, uh, you know, good, um, uh, one of the best, um, what you might call it, surrogates, surrogates. So, all right, so I'm off the script now. I'm just saying a couple things about each um each channel here and she's also i think active on twitter a lot as well you have this channel here hustle and film um i really enjoy his uh channel a lot of um live streams on this one a lot of the other ones do as well but uh and lots of material all the time you know um i could definitely see him as part of the campaign as you know a surrogate on you know those big channels msnbc and cnn etc so um yeah a lot of interesting professional uh looking contents and uh so can appreciate that one of the earlier ones that i started watching was this person here j scott garby he a lot as you can tell with the thumbnails a lot of uh driving uh you know and that's pretty cool i actually like that he is like a, a political i think he has a degree in politics and so he comes to it from that angle uh, of like, um, you know, he, he could probably really be on a campaign, but um, he's dedicating uh, his a lot of his efforts to uh, this campaign here. And so a lot of good insights. And I think a lot of these channels have gotten better and better and better as they go on. He was interviewed actually by the nerds for yang and that was a really good interview and he had a lot of good energy and stuff i've seen him improve a lot i would say i mean he's like um and and just get more comfortable on the uh, camera and i uh, really enjoy stuff um this guy here steve danley for yang he kind of reminds me the most of a james carville because he's a little he can be a little edgy sometimes but i really enjoy his material a lot of energy a lot of fights in it and wit um and uh so you know i could see him i mean he would probably yeah like uh you know i don't know possibly do good in in uh, like you know a lot of um how you see media nowadays that kind of like crossfire type uh thing but i think you know i think it's you know there is substance here for sure i mean it that's what it is but he just has a good way of words in other words this person here uh d pierce ssc um yeah i really enjoy his material he's definitely in the yang gang uh per se and but he goes a little beyond and he is very um uh, dedicated to being objective and uh i think stoic um, and just finding the truth. So I can really respect that. You know, we don't all have to agree 100% on everything, of course. We can have congenial, uh, you know, just um, civilized debates, in other words. And, yeah, I really appreciate that. Um, so, uh, all right. Um, he had some good interviews, too. Uh, Mindful Skeptics Podcast. I think this person's uh, strengths also is interviewing. He's had some great interviews with Scott Santons and a couple other people, this guy Alex Hallett and uh, and more. I think Fred the Felon. Really a good um, interviewer. I mean, if, if uh, you know, also good videos as well, but a uh, good interviewer for sure. And um, I think that's the strengths he, his channel has. American Jobs Factory. I like this guy. He travels around the country following Yang's campaign, etc. as well. And uh, 
yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, um, you can, and he also interviews people as well, uh, you know, as he's proselytizing the message per se, but um, gets a lot of good images too. Like, look at this semi truck, the Freedom Dividend Truckers for Yang semi truck. So a lot of good grassroots type uh, material here. Fred the Felon, he's actually the guy who's driving that truck. And um, yeah, he's a good surrogate too. A lot of, you know, high energy, passionate fighting and not taking things for granted and I really enjoy his material and what he's doing. He's driving a truck cross country with, you know, those big old uh, signs, as you can see here, Freedom Dividend. And so that's good advertising. Um, this is a newer one, I think, Tiffany Tribe. I've really enjoyed her videos, very succinct and uh, on it and clear, precise, very eloquent. Um, you know, she could be an excellent uh professional surrogate but whether you know they do it professionally or not I, I guess it's still an investment in the future and it's kind of exciting seeing amateur surrogates um, because you know that they're doing it from the hearts even though a lot of these people could be professional and maybe that's something they would do in the future but um but that's awesome and this same person here too kai watson he is um just very high energy and, and just uh, enthusiasm, enthusiasm and um, and trying to look at different angles. And uh, so I think there's been some interviews on here as well. And so creative uh, approaches as well um, there. And the dividend report, another person I think that, uh, you know, kind of gives a good news. Like, I just like the title here, the dividend report, you know, that's about the citizens dividend, the freedom dividend. And uh, I think he's done some interviews as well as as well as some, you know, more uh, quality videos. So check him out. The dividend reports. Um, this is a newer one. Uh, politics for the youth. Young blood politics. When he started, it, it, you know, I was a little um, I was like, you know, this person does use uh, some curse words, but he doesn't really as much anymore and has really, you know, that's what you can see is, you know, some people have tuned their message after time. And over time, I've seen his uh, videos improve and, and his message get better as he's expressing it. And so I think he's a great uh, surrogate um, and enjoy listening to the message. It's definitely passionate, has hearts, has uh, enthusiasm in it. So definitely check out Politics for the youth. I think he also makes some music um, on another channel. You might want to check out pretty interesting and uh, original stuff. Um, Detective Lewis. I mean, this guy is cool. I He uh, has um, where he kind of breaks down different stories. I think obviously he's done some interviews here and definitely um, suggest you check out Detective Lewis. He also did get some good uh, video here at that UBI basic income march with scott santons the first person we mentioned speech that universal basic income march was in um i guess it was four days ago and that one was in new york city but there were many marches across the world Alyssa monet mason she has been one of the earlier channels i saw and she also follows yang's campaign i think she is set up in nevada now and trying to really coordinate efforts in Nevada, one of the four early states, and if Andrew can do well in Nevada, that would be great momentum and um, some good delegates to secure, you know. So I would check out her channel. Very free spirit. Another great thing I like about her channel is sometimes she's has she has a lot of guests, and you know they do like um, you know six or five, three, four people talking together, and she's had a lot of good guests. I think. Um, you know, that's uh, really cool. And then you can also see a lot of things that were happening uh, grassroots wise as well. This person I put in here, um, Earl, man, he hasn't made really any videos in two months, but this guy's smooth. Um, I mean, just look at that picture right there. I mean, uh, he could definitely be like a professional representative, I think. But uh, I look forward to some videos. I think, you know, he actually started getting some momentum going. And maybe he uh, felt like, you know, now that the uh, ship sailed, it's on its way. He's kind of, you know, played his part here. But I'm sure we'll see probably some more, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. But definitely um, eloquent uh, level one life. Um, he has videos uh, 
pretty consistently. Most of them are about Andrew Yang's campaign, though not all of them are. I think, um, you know, a good representative for sure. People will see his videos and get the message, and uh, and that's great. He did have one with, like, charts and stuff comparing the $15 an hour minimum wage versus the universal basic income. Not that there has to be a versus, but that was kind of one of the topics that was being uh, thrown around a while back. This person's kind of new as well, Big Papa Politics. He's a Canadian, but um, I really enjoy his videos. Uh, some of them are a little longer, but not all of them. And um, But yeah, r good intelligent stuff in um, promoting universal basic income. And you can tell like the production quality and stuff is, uh, you know, at least, you know, very good. Here's another person. I think he's from, like, Quebec. Um, all the other persons I mentioned earlier, Americans. But, uh, you know, it's it's a welcome to have some talented Canadians help and pitch in or people around the world, as you'll see. Uh, this person, he's, I think, a comedian. Um, but he made some videos and really good, high-quality stuff, um, really good presence on um, uh, the video. And, uh, you know, so... He's had some live streams as well, so I look forward to seeing some more of his material. But, um, yeah, very good messaging from this person. Very talented, and I love the channel, Reelect Andrew Yang 2020. That's thinking outside the box and getting people to, like, you know, that's so creative right there. Um, this person, Yimby Arts, I've seen sometimes he makes consistent videos and looks at things from a different angle i think obviously his main issue is uh yes in my backyard it's about housing and so it's good to get all these different kinds of perspectives and he's shown some live footage as well here's someone who um mostly actually doesn't post about andrew yang but when he does it's all you know pro andrew yang and he's very good with the camera i think um you know he could possibly I don't know, and maybe I'm just overthinking this, like, you know, eventually get, like, a background. But, again, a lot of people will will improve and stuff. But um, he's really good at presenting and vocalizing and uh, excellent arguments, very strong presence. And, um, yeah, I'd for sure I'd love to have him on my team, 100%. This person, you can tell he's passionate. He's, um, yeah, just passionate about the message and is hyped up for this. I mean, you know, you got to love someone who's hyped up and presenting arguments and throwing themselves out there and to, to, to argue for the truth. Uh, TOT Productions TV. Um, yep. I mean, this is, I think, kind of a newer channel uh, for this, but, you know, somewhat consistently. I think the arguments have been very well made and... Uh, nice presentation, so, you know, uh, that's why uh, we're seeing her channel here, and I look forward to her upcoming videos, uh, Shaving with Tully, very creative um, uh, title here, for sure, right, and, um, and consistent messaging, I think he was a Warren supporter, now he's supporting Yang, and he's been in some of those live streams on some of the other channels, so you can see kind of like a network building, very, very cool, and this person out of my head is from Vermont, um, you know, some good things, he's coming to it from uh, a different perspective, not really even supporting Andrew Yang for his main policy, uh, the uh, freedom dividend, rather that he likes the way he thinks, um, Cash App, um, you know, he posts consistently all the time, and I do respect that. And um, so, yeah, and he shows that enthusiasm. And I look forward to seeing how his videos uh, get better and better and grow in the future. This guy, Gutless, um, I think he's kind of, he's a little edgy himself. Um, and he's more of a Republican that's supporting Yang, and he kind of comes from a little bit of a different perspective but uh yeah he definitely has an interesting take and here's uh stacy san sir severino realtor trainer and coach and so you know some good solid you know videos here and consistent and so definitely give her a like subscribe click the bell right isn't that what they all say and um stole this guy as you can see he's uh kind of pumped up 
high energy, good lot. He take, comes from it from the the stats perspective. You'll you'll see a lot of data data um, information on here, and um, so uh, you know if you want to get that information, I think that's good. And this channel here, Doctor Joby, he's made a lot of good, um, you know, kind of like. 10 minute almost like short little movie type things um documentary things on andrew yang i think uh you know that's kind of neat but it does them pretty well good mixing the music and and all that stuff i'm just gonna run through really quick these are the uh honorable mentions uh mark buren this guy's a comedian you know he doesn't fully support yang but he does have a lot of positive things about him this was one of the first videos uh this guy he hasn't made anything about three months but he was definitely um you know at the beginning of the yang campaign and you know he kind of dropped off but maybe we'll see some in the future um there's yang gang headquarters a lot of stuff that was on the media and um and live stuff jamming my car um my car and so you know i put them here in the honorable mention lynn sites and LaShawn Bridges, New Progressive Voice, they're mostly not, you know, just focused on the Yang campaign. They're mostly focused on news, but they do have a fair amount of stuff on Yang that is, um, you know, uh, somewhat um, supportive. And uh, probably the same with this one, uh, Individualism, Philosophy, Religion, and Politics, Progressive Resistance Media, the same thing. Evan H., here's a Yang gang supporter here um not much material lately but one of the first ones i probably heard a couple months ago art rt intel i think that stands for artificial intelligence he did have a lot of stuff for a while and i thought a lot of it was really good really compelling um yeah i really enjoy listening to this person he's uh very cool and um eloquently spoken here's someone I don't know exactly where they're from, but they are a, a UBI advocate. And also, um, I, I say I don't know where they come from. I think, you know, I, I think they're outside the United States, maybe New Zealand or something. I don't know. But but he's a UBI advocate. And, uh, yeah, it's good arguments, passionate about the topic. Gray Winsler, revolutionary thinking, truthfully incorrect the Mind of Brandon, Yang's Boba, Alec Alacrity Thief, I think, um, and Spider-Man G. Uh, Make America Think Harder, math. That's what math stands for. Kill Gray Films, if you see all those math hats. Freedom Dividend News. Education, Entertainment, TV, Sandra M. Schneidman, I support Andrew Yang. So some videos there. Reverend Lamont Samuel Ivory. I did the math, Triple Cup, cup Chuck Active Establishment. Marcus Roberts Johnson, The Independence Report, Carlo Baltazar, Code Chris, Party with Zanardi. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, this person, uh, All American Socialist, you know, he is like a news show, but um, you know, he really gives Yang um the benefit of the doubts, which is good. Uh, this channel, Fearless Dreamer Media, more of a documentary kind of film film type of thing, and this one's like three minutes thirty eight seconds. Pretty cool stuff. Pastors for Yang, The Breeze. Andrew Yang's mate, Shaley, and she's from Australia, building a UBI movement there, getting in the debate. G. Giddens, the father. I've enjoyed some of his interviews. Uh, Super Dave, someone, another, you know, driving video. I, you know, I like it, driving videos. Um, you kind of feel like, you know, there's some movement going on. Yang Gang Media. Aaron Pipert's. Blacks for Yang. I think what's really cool about this one is they post a lot of his Instagram videos. So Yang, as he's traveling around, 
posts a lot on Instagram, and these are things most people don't usually see. This is an excellent, excellent idea, and most no one else is doing it. Hope for the future. AMAC. Nero Caesar Kaiser Neuron Technologies. A.V. Buffett Channel. The Shaw Love. Yeah, he's um, made some good videos. Uh, not totally on Andrew Yang, though. Feminist News Network. She's really uh, talented. Got, you know, entertaining, funny. Uh, yeah, I enjoy watching her videos for sure. Brad Goodham. MagicBrad.tv. Crypto Conservative. Foresight 2020. Canada vibe, Vibes. She was interviewed on the Nerds for Yang. Read My Lips. Billy Morgan. Antonio Salvatore. Quantum Cat X. Ryan Ranger. Sherry Kirchhoff. Savvy Progress, which I think they're not totally all about Andrew Yang. Again, they're more of a news place, but they're, you know, very much given the benefit of the doubt. Here's someone sharing their Yang story, Nicole Pellegrini. Here's Crypto Blood. He had an interview with Max Kaiser, the uh, economist, news person, and, um, you know, they talked briefly about Yang's uh, universal basic income in support of it. Here's someone build the swamp but they made it looks like a video at least on andrew yang maybe they'll make more i think they're in tennessee abacus um you know mostly another news type show but you know once in a while you'll see videos on yang this person actually says they're back in the bernie squad who knows maybe they'll switch back to yang and this person um you know we'll see uh yeah i honestly forgot this last one but the last thing I want to share here in closing is is this. Uh, just a few last videos. If if you want to see a good uh, rally, there's that one that was in San Francisco on October 27th. Well, of course, lots of good long-form interviews. Um, Andrew Yang did a uh, karaoke of Don't Forget About Me. That was good. Um that's basic income March that was very recently in October 16th. Amazing. I think the first time there was one worldwide, that was in New York City. You know, there's been a couple of songs about Yang, too. Let's see if we can hear. Here's a one campaign song from Dan Slavin. Let's hear just a second. Right, no, we just keep moving forward. Yeah, so that's really interesting. It's really, you have to, of course, hear the whole thing. And then there's this one for the video contest um, by uh, Dugan Smith. This is two and a half minutes. We'll just hear like 10 seconds. That's pretty good. Very good. Uh, this is the fi Filth L.A. A lot of good videos, too, besides, but they did have one new song, an ACDC kind of cover, Yang or Bust, instead of Rock or Bust. Hey, folks. Well, here I am. The lyric. Let's see. Just kind of douchey. <laughs> um, uh, uh, attribution oh, is, maybe this is good it. news and bad news. Good news is, as most of you know, well, it's there somewhere, um, and uh, maybe, you know, I there's so many people doing covers, I doubt it's a copyright strike or something. Let's see if we can... Ah, uh, here it is. Here it is. Hey, that all evident. The dark is in their eyes, and yet they're more alive. But now there's come a man, and I can Says it like it is, 
Yeah, and I've heard lots of different genres too, rap and techno, um, and uh, you know, here's another one. I'm here to talk about. I promise I'm not trying to make your life harder, but you need to hear Yang out. I will vote based on the math. Yeah, really good. Um, looks like maybe there's uh, another one here. Wow. Uh, this video 13 minutes 34 seconds by knee uh, emmett shorts um i think his channel calls himself knee of the curve um very funny like he did a 13 minute like almost like you could imagine this being a saturday night live this whole monologue and skits um very funny I let you hear like maybe 10 seconds of it Everyone will start living pointless, unproductive, meaningless lives. Basically, the whole country will turn into housewives of Beverly Hills. Ah, good timing there. That that was that's this one. Um, you know, let's talk about my son Andrew Yang. Like how he opened his mind to Andrew Yang based on his son. This one is just silly. I mean, I'll just end it. Andrew Yang is a honey badger. Oh my gosh, it's kind of crazy. But let's just listen to like ten seconds of it. This is the honey badger. Watch it run in slow motion. It's pretty badass. No regard for any other animal whatsoever. You think the honey badger cares? It doesn't give a shit. It goes right into the house to bees to get some larva. But look, the honey badger doesn't care. It's getting stung like a thousand times. It doesn't give a shit. It just, it's hungry. It doesn't care. All right, you can decide, check that out if you want. I thought it was very funny, hilarious. Um, so. That's it. Uh, in closing, what I, you know, I hope a lot of these people, no matter what happens in 2020, and you know, um, is that they see a, uh, a network. Um, well, here, let me go back. Let me just close with the scripts here. Yeah, however Andrew Yang does, all these surrogates have things in common, and I hope they're the start of a new network for real reform, recognizing the challenges ahead, and also a potentially awesome vision for the future with freedom, opportunity, peace, and prosperity.